So all in this area now that we've excavated was a swarm of stalagmites and uh, we've removed several from the surface uh, but just in front of the drywall we actually had uh, a stratigraphy with some buried stalagmites and then there'd been another raised floor on top of those stalagmites and then more stalagmites had formed on top of them. So this drywall is actually underneath stratigraphically it's older than both sets of stalagmites and it probably continues underneath this hard calcified shelf stone where we have more stalagmites and there is a possibility that this block here it's because it's very much harder than the surrounding stones it may have actually at some point in the past collapsed from this section here so this might actually be from the ceiling and it's fallen on top of the drywall so maybe at some point this drywall was actually bigger than it is as we find it now. We can't go further this way at the moment because as I said this is really hard and it looks as though the drywall stretches all the way to the, the edge here but we have lots of loose material that's starting to slump down so we have to go very carefully just to see the lateral extent of the drywall. It's quite small, 60 centimetres tall, it's made up of five courses. Um, a couple of the stones were removed because while this was all buried, we didn't actually realise that we were dealing with a drywall until we started to move more of the material away. So we've preserved it as well as we could do. Yeah, pretty good find.